Okay, uh, last day we have started our uh, lesson. Basically, that is about uh, that is about uh, the plant diversity, and we just learn about the physical properties visible to us, which is basically uh, called morphological features. Morphological features means the physical characteristics that we can observe and we can see them from the outside related to different parts of the plants. So different plant means you can say one is basically the leaf, the other one is the trunk or stem, root system, maybe flowers, fruits, and maybe the branches, leaves and variation of these. Likewise, there are different properties that we can see and we will categorize plants according to that, that we have learned last day under the plant diversity. <clears throat> the first thing that we were discussing about the flowering and non-flowering plants. I said that some plants are flowering, they produce flowers and some are not producing flowers. Ferns like plants they are not producing flowers. And we have recognized here, can you see, we have recognized cycles, mosses, and salvinia, uh, then um, cypress, rhinaria, and ferns. These are basically non-flowering. So these are some species which are not flowering, not producing, not producing flowers. Those are called non-flowering plants. Right. Then we have like we uh, were like further exploring the flowering plants, and and uh, we have observed the root system and the shoot system. The root system means you can see number three is the root system, and number eleven is the shoot system, which is above the ground normally. This is below the ground normally, right? But there are some special occurrences where you can see roots in air special occurrences or root in, roots in uh, branches. So there are special occurrences, right? And also sometimes stem, right? Here number uh, four is stem. Sometimes there are underground stems like potato. The stem is underground. So we will discuss, okay, we will discuss about that. Okay, everybody joined, I hope, right? Uh, oh. So I'm missing Gavesha still, I think. Two are missing. Did you inform them? Better if you can call and remind them because like uh, the link was not posted the group. Okay. Carrot. Okay. Examples, right? Okay. Then <coughs> uh, we were learning about the root system first. So there are fibrous roots. Fibrous root means uh, the roots are like, uh, so there are a large number of roots. All roots are having, uh, these are not, there is not main, no main root. All roots are same. And all roots are uh, same and uh, similar kind of roots are there. But uh, in the tap root system, there is a main root, right? Main root or tap root and there are branches. Branches are called lateral roots. And also uh, hair roots, root hair. So that is uh, basically the tap root system. This is the basic two categories of roots, but there are more, right? I said that these are only two basic two categories, but there are more. Okay, what about the cocker? What about coconut tree? Is it having a tap root or lateral roots? Sorry, fibrous roots. Fibrous roots. Fibrous. Mango. Tap root system, fibrous roots. Bamboo. Tap root. Tap root system. Okay. So bamboo trees. Bamboo trees. Is it fibrous or tap root? Bamboo trees. It's fibrous, right? It's fibrous. Bamboo trees, coconut, these are fibrous. Okay. Then so what are the functionalities of root? We have learned a few, but if you can remember, can you tell me? So what are the functionalities of root? There are a few. Water. 
absorbing water exactly absorbing water and minerals absorbing water and minerals fixed to the soil fixed into the soil absorbing water and minerals fixed into the soil anything else store foods oh some roots are storing foods example can you tell me example beetroot potato carrot oh okay some are storing food so we are consuming that so we know him very well right so i'm not uh, i'm sure that you all are consuming these things at least monthly once a month you will consume root of a plant right once a month we will consume root of a plant as a food so that is the nature okay let's see one thing is fixing the plant to the soil as you said that is correct the second thing is absorbing water and minerals always with the water you have to mention minerals right because not just water it's absorbing minerals too vatura vitarak nevi kanija lavana kiyana devalu tya uragan right water and minerals then uh, actually uh, so this one you forgot so some are uh, right <coughs> some are basically propagating so this is called a sexual propagation uh, some are propagating to roots these roots can give birth to a new plant breadfruit belly curry leaves curry leaves are heavily spreading harapincha heavily spreading using these leaves these roots Giving birth to a new plant, and uh, mint, right? Mint, like thing. Okay, then. Um, right. In in mint, actually, uh, sorry, in mint, it's not roots itself. It's a uh, basically root and the stem. Okay, then there are like here you can see manioc, beetroot, carrot, sweet potato. mimosa so these are basically special roots special roots and uh, out of these you can see these are producing like storing food also okay so then we learn about the other type of roots like aerial roots these aerial roots are absorbing oxygen it's exposed to air absorbing gases and it is exposed to be air and also the moisture in the environment in the atmosphere and prop roots prop roots are coming from the branches please note these two look similar but still still then uh, props have differences props are coming from the branches still coming from the yes still coming from the these are from branches this this is from stem stem exactly this is coming from the branches these are connecting branches but these are connecting the stem stem making tandem tama meke ne meva enne shaakha wali okay then uh, climbing roots like beetle pepper they have climbing roots because they need some aid respiratory roots right respiratory roots here uh, so these are they are in especially the coastal areas okay right then okay you have uh, like this this table also i think we hope we have discussed different type of roots and the examples and also the function why prop roots are there prop roots prop roots means this one why prop roots because it supports the branches it's coming from the branches and supports the branches so stem and still roots are supporting the stem right because coming from the stem aerial roots like orchid absorb water vapor i said that absorb water vapor from the atmosphere also 
some aerial roots are ad adapted for photosynthesis. They are having uh, chlorophyll. The green, the, these aerial roots are sometimes green color because they do photosynthesis. They can produce food. Absorbing water vapor and also absorbing gas can be done. And, but uh, they are like uh, basically respiratory root is specially adapted to uh, exchange air with the atmosphere. That is respiratory roots. The climbing roots help the stem climbing by attaching to another stem or another uh, supportive, any kind of supportive. It can be a fence, it can be a wire, right? It can be a wall, right? To, at to attach it and climb. So these are climbing roots. And storage fruits are basically storing carrot, maniac, and all sweet potato. Roots with root nodules. Actually, root nodules is a home for a lot of bacteria. Root nodules. Root nodules are small, uh, like small um, areas where single like a mula get it Or like we in uh, you can I can explain this with. Okay, normally the root is a thin wire like thing. You know? In this thin wire, there is a knot like thing. So here in, in wires also, there is a noise cancellation knot send here. So this is in electronics, right? Not in science. Let me show that quickly. See, in electronics. Uh, So some wires, so it's like coming with the noise cancellation uh, part. Right? In a wire, there is something like this. In a wire, there's some, but this is uh, like the root system is not for the noise cancellation, but uh, just tell you. So why these uh, root, like why these root nodules are there? It's basically, it's home for a lot of bacteria. Actually, it helps adding nutrition to the soil and fertilize the soil. So we use this mimosa and legumes, uh, legumes like beans and long beans, these plants. Actually, when we, so this is a natural way of adding fertilizer or adding fertilize or maybe fertilize in the soil. Okay, that is it. And I think we have discussed this part last day. Now, today we have to discuss about the diversity of stems, right? So, the main thing that you can notice is the unbranched stem and the branched stem. Atu bedunu, atu no bedunu. So, mostly coconut, kitul, and paddy, bamboo, these are unbranched, but rarely they are, can be branched, but the, as usual, as usual, is a common feature to most of the coconuts, kitul and palmyra and paddy and bamboo. So it's a basically, uh, it's their feature is, it's not branchy, but rarely, as I said, many can, so there can be rare uh, changes, no? Here, have you seen some kind of, sometimes branches in uh, coconut. Right. We can see here, it's a rare thing. It's a very rare thing. But there can be situations like this. It's a very, very rare situation. Right? Very, very rare situation where normally it's not. Normally it's not. But there can be rare situations. But don't be surprised about that because these kind of rare things we can see in the world. We cannot fix it because the nature is unpredictable. We cannot predict the nature. But as a, as a norm, as a general fact, remember that plants like coconut, arcanut, kitul, palmyra, paddy, bamboo are. Yes, Sorry, Putin. Sorry. Yeah, can you repeat? I couldn't hear you. Sai, did you tell anything? Uh, 
hello. Okay, okay, okay. I think. Yes, what is it? You can repeat. If you have like if you have any idea, you can repeat. You can tell it. I couldn't hear. That's why. Can you type at least? Okay, but normal plants that we can see, other fruits, most of most of the plants that we can see are having branches. Cashew, guava, and mango, uh, shoe flower, rambutan, you name it, uh, maybe. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> okay. You have to tell that. I thought that you have a concern. That's right. Okay. So this, uh, you name it. In many, like you can say, it uh, or um, what what do you call the mango, uh, guava, and rambutan, mango, um, then cashew, jackfruit, cashew. Yes, not just the things here. So there are a large list of branching stem. So when you see, so let's just look at the environment. How many trees are branching? Coconut. Uh, sorry, no, not coconut. What about papaya? Is it branch or not branch? Yes. Not branching. branching. It only has one or two branches. Yeah, may it may have some branches. So it's, it's not we cannot categorize that as a non non branching because it also here. So you can see here papaya. So the, because so air layering, and there are some techniques in papaya. So we are like increasing the number of branches can increase the fruits, right? So branching is basically applied to papaya. Right here, you can see branch normally, normally not, but uh, so when it's branched, when there are branches, you can see the props are really high, so you can eat. So as a, as an experiment, they're branching because uh, by doing that, uh, the this this can be increased. Can you see? So it's not done branching. It's branching, but mostly mostly like most commonly you can see it has non branching. But the thing is. Even like this, this frequency is really high. You can see many uh, papaya branch, branch papaya trees. Okay. So then, so we need to learn. So similar to the root system, what is the, what is the main functionality of the trunk or the stem? What are the main functionalities? Can you list? Don't read the book. Don't read the book. Just tell what you feel. Then let's discuss. Just tell what you feel, then let's discuss. After this, I will give the lesson a summary, right? As or not? Store food. Storing food, yes. That is a, okay. We discussed in the previous one. Anyway, that's good. Yeah, storing food is one task of a uh, stem. But that is not the primary, but that is one task. Okay. Wait. Anything else? Storing food, correct. Anything else? Produce no. new plants, propagation. Yes, produce new plants, propagation, similar to the, so you can, whatever you said for the uh, roots, you can tell the semis. Do photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. Do photosynthesis. Some stems are adapted for photosynthesis. So you can say the same set of uh, same set of things that you have learned in the root system. Photosynthesis, propagation, storing foods, but still still you could have tell some, some, some more points because the main point is still missing, I think. I guess, yeah, main point is still missing. Distributing nutrition to parts. Ah, yes, distributing the nutrition, food, uh, water to, throughout the plant, right? From the roots to from the roots to leaves, from the leaves to roots, and all over the tree. 
So STEM is basically the main transportation hub. Okay, that is one of the main functionalities. One thing is, one more thing is there. It let the tree stand, right? It let the tree stand alone. So that is also one. So here, bears the here. This is standing means bears the flowers, leaves, bud, fruits, seeds, everything. It bears up. It bears up everything. Made by being stand, right? So here, support the plant, keeping the rigid. Rigidity means like standing. And excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, can we tell has a top root? Uh, has a top root. Which one, Kuti? Uh, a coconut tree or something. Oh, 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 we have discussed about the root system. Now I'm discussing about the stem, right? Stem. We have already discussed about the root system and we discussed about this, uh, this uh, two kind of roots like fibrous and tap root system and also different adaptations of roots like aerial roots, prop and steel roots, climbing roots, respiratory and food roots. We have storage roots. We have discussed about them already and now move into the stem. Stem, Khanda. So now we are talking about the middle part, stem, right? Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. okay. I think you missed that because you joined like <laughs> beers, flowers, leaves, buds, etc. And uh, the next thing is it supports the plants to stand and keep rigid. Then transport water and to uh, that is the main transportation hub. I said that. And uh, then I said that the propagation, propagation through the stem. Shoe flower, jasmine, sweet potato, maniac, they are basically, stem is the main propagation mechanism. You need branch or part of the stem and then you can create a new branch. You can make a new branch easily. So therefore it's very, very easy to spread. And even for agriculture, that is a really good usage. Because you don't want to wait till the seeds. Right. Then some stems are adapted to uh, photosynthesis, as you said. So you can see some examples here as uh, Satavari and this Hatavari or Satavari in Tamil. So these are some like uh, native names that we are using in Sri Lanka. But the names are different, right? This, the, all the names are given in like Sinhala or Tamil versions. And here as so, Piratai, Navahandyo Kali, Hatavari or Shatavari. So this is the Tamil and this is uh, the Singhala. But uh, they have not given the scientific name. And then when you try to search, sometimes it might be difficult to find with this name. Because this is the local name given to the plant. Okay. Then uh, some are storing foods. So one of our major sugar source, sugar cane. Right? So that is how we uh, get sugar most of the time through this sugar cane. So they store, the stem is the storage. And kitul, so kitul flour, I think uh, sometimes you have, uh, like you have consumed kitul flour. But uh, you know, elephants, they really like this, right? So, because uh, it's uh, like storage, food storage. There's a flower, right? You can, you know, in like in my village, uh, they are like when, okay. So, when this uh, basically kituli is a kind of a plant used for various purposes, no? Kitul hap, uh, like kitul hapuru hadan, nagan, 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 kitul dwelling, kitul pani, right? Right. Not just the bee honey. Right? So, honey is taken from kitul also. Therefore, and also for sugar. And uh, so the stem, so is, when it is not useful for honey and the other things, it's used, uh, the stem is used for, used as a food source. 
right basically so there are like uh, some foods make made of this ketul it's delicious as well as it's uh, highly new uh, like it's a new it's kind of a new fresh uh, food source so elephants used to use this and not only that we can also consume but not in the raw format we have to filter out uh, because otherwise it's like bit uh, like uh, crispy you know crispy actually it's it's bit like kind of bit, it's very difficult to consume directly so you have to filter and get the feel. anyway these are aerial uh, these aerial stems used as a food stock and so most of the food uh, like these stems the food stems like storage stems are not in the aerial stage they are sometimes they are most of the times underground so can you tell me some underground stems without looking at the book underground stems producing food underground again polave atta thiyena polave atta thiyena kandan manawada food potato. sorry potato 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 beet ginger sorry beet sweet potatoes sweet potatoes sweet potatoes nan root na ape root eken tama ganne pute mata kenan ek api katha kara here you can see Beetroot, sweet potato, they come okay in the garden. It's the root, right? But these are the type of roots. And maniac, maniac also, maniac also type of root. Beetroot, beetroot, kelima, 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 root, kelima. Sweet potato, root. Carrot, root, kelima, never carrot. Is also root. Maniac also root. So remember these. Right? Otherwise, you will be big. like it's a bit confusing. But he then pull a stem make a kill. I have a mere root taker stem make at the end of the So, see, this potato is correct, not sweet potato, the normal potato that is okay here. And you can easily remember leeks is the root, onion, sorry, leeks, not root, sorry, stem, leeks, it's a stem, onion, it's stem. Colocasia, it is stem. Potato, it is stem. Ginger, it's a stem. These are underground stems which store food. Yes, Pute, did you ask anything? I'm not well today. It's very difficult to conduct classes, but I'm doing because like I cannot cancel. Because when I used to talk, the cough comes. It's very, very inconvenient. Cannot shout. Yes, any concerns? Any doubt you need to ask, then I can check and tell you. Like if you have any doubt, if I don't know. But remember these things. Otherwise, like you will feel so most of the students will think onion, it is the root. No, Excuse onion. Excuse me, sir. The... Yes. What about Germany? Sorry. What about turmeric? Is it stem or root? Turmeric? Yes. So it's like ginger, right? It's like ginger. Turmeric. Similar to ginger. The garlic. Garlic is like onion, right? You can just get the similar varieties. Turmeric is like ginger. Garlic is like onion. Right, so turmeric is basically turmeric is is underground stem. It is underground stem. Remember, so you can write down here if you like. You can use your pencil and write down here. 
ginger or like don't put kama because turmeric is something else ne but it is underground step onion and garlic same family right underground steps onion garlic same family underground steps But potato, sweet potato, I can't name it. Yeah, it's not that much. I will not be any potato and sweet potato. Sweet potato, it is a root and potato is in the stem. Onion, garlic, same family. Onion, garlic, both are stem. Ginger, turmeric, both are stem. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, uh, sir, that was I am telling uh, that sweet potato, sir. I I did not mean uh, beets, sir. I uh, batala, singhala meaning batala. Yeah, that is sweet potato. Me thi batala. Kya ne kato? Ek yaane root tega. Ek root thi. Ek yaane ek mool tamah. Storage, storage with the Batala Mulula Tama, Batala Alakila Picani, Batala Mula Harid, Batala Vala Mula Tama, Piala with the Rakan, Caratala Mula Tama, Pala with the Rakan, Caratala. Habay, me on storage roots. Ilangata, make a body Venasak Tiena, Alavala, Arthapal Vala Tiene, Eke, Mula Neve, Kanda, Arthapal, Kanda Tama, Picani, Stem Makatama, Picani, Arthapal, Alavidi. अबे ऊपर में आप ये आला किया ला नहीं किया ने ये तो कौन एक तो हम पैटर्न लेने दे साइल्स वाले दिया था मापी के जिन्हें कहने अंदर तो मूल्य देखने ओके क्लियर ऑन दिस यस सर थैंक यू ओके एक्सक्यूज मी सर यस बते व्हाट इज कॉला केसिया कॉला केसिया अम्म सिंहल दैस नेम अम्म it's not coming to my head. Just, just wait. Why is not? Hmm. Um, Let me remind. Let me remind and tell you, right? I'm, I'm. It's not. It's in my head, but it's not coming to. Uh, you know. Arre inna la. Let me. Kiriya la kiriya la kiriya ni. Ahalati na. Have you heard of? Yes, sir. That is like uh, so. Some like these. These are they are in some shops for sale, but normally in villages. Ne, we chooti ek image jage kai hoya na mere. Kiriyala inna la kiriyala hima di inna. That is also type of, uh, it's not potato, but type of such. So similar type of uh, consumption. Kiriyala tama antano, kiriyala. Okay. Okay. Shall we go to the leaves then? The next one. Likewise, when you have like a question that is very good, like when you have problems, please ask. So then you have to find whether it is a stem. Uh, so that is as activity also you can do. Okay, you have to like when you find something new, so maybe new type of storage in when you are going to a vegetable shop or somewhere or maybe internet check whether is it stem or root right is it stem or root check that so if you if you cannot find what is is it stem or root because normally it's it's by by just looking at this it's difficult right because you have bala like a part of the key and stem make the root take the by looking at this, it's difficult, but so what you can do is you can ask. Even in the group, you can ask.
Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to the leaves quickly. Uh, diversity of the leaves. Leaves also, there are simple leaves and the complex leaves, branched leaves. So there are, uh, and not just that, so there are the leaves with the like venation like these and the parallel venation. So this is called recti reticular vein, but there are a lot of venation patterns, right? Actually, I have done venation patterns for my master's uh, research uh, when I was doing master's in the uh, University of Peradini. And there are like 10, 10, 20 patterns of venations. But here we are not going to learn all of them. We are going to learn main two categories, basically reticular venation and parallel venation. But there are many, there are many, right? So reticular venation is basically there is a main vein and the branches are divided and then the sub branches are divided from that. You can see in the jackfruit, uh, jackfruit, mango, mean arali, uh, or, um, any anything, any like any plant that you most most of the plants, not any most of the plants that you can see, you can see this reticular venation. But there are like parallel venation too. In grass, you can see parallel venation. Bamboo, coconut, right? arica nut, you can see this parallel venations. So there are so the, here the reticular venation is like the tap root system. So parallel venation is like uh, the other that uh, root system, right? The parallel and so basically you can see in the, even the bamboo, coconut, yeah, areca nut, these these plants. So can you remember the root system that they had? The root system was here. Yeah, the root system was fibrous. For this areca nut, coconut, bamboo, grass, right? The root system was uh, there's a similarity. Root system is fibrous. And the same time, the leaves are having parallel venation. So it's easy to remember, right? The root system is uh, also a root system and uh, the leaf system has a connection. When root system is fibrous, when the root system is fibrous, the connection says the venation pattern is parallel. That is an easy way to remember. But this is not always, but most of the time. And when there's a taproot system, mostly you can see the reticulate venation. Okay. But I said that there are many, many venation patterns. Here apply uh, so uh, paint on the lower surface of the sun, you get copies of them to the white paper, identify the type of leaf venation, classify them as reticulated or parallel venation. So what do you need to do? You have to apply some paint and then print it. It's like a seal. When you apply and seal it in your paper, so you can see the venation pattern. And uh, there are nice things like uh, done with the venation. So here you can see, so let me show the venation crafts. These are available in many places as sonias. So let me show that quickly. I hope you can see my screen. Okay. Using the venation, people do a lot of crafting. So I have seen this, especially in this. Uh, yeah, they are filtering the venation. After filtering the venation, they create crafts. Filtering the actually not filtering the vein, they have they are basically removing the other parts of the leaf and keep the venation. Venation, venation is like our skeleton, it is strong. If you have seen the leaves fallen down with the aging, so the earliest one you can see so it's like partially digested or half away gone. But still, the venation is protected. Venation will be there for a long time. That is strong part of it. Is like, it's like our skeleton in our body. Venation. Therefore, people are using this for 
various artistic creations. Printing, drawing, etc. Okay, printing, drawing, etc. There you see. And uh, you can see the digestion process also. If you see the uh, decomposition, so please search for this video. I'm not going to show this now, but I'm just showing of a leaf time lapse. So just uh, see this uh, video. This is very important for you to get an idea. Right? Decomposition of leaves, time lapse. Then uh, like with the time, what will happen to a leaf and the venation. So there are time lapse in videos. You can just go and see them. What will happen? How the decomposition happens? Right? Here you can see. This is uh, with the 10% decomposition, 20%. 30%, 40%, 50% decomposition, still the venation is there. That is the nature. Okay, let's move back to the lesson. I said about the simple and complex leaves, basically simple and compound leaves. So what's the difference? Right, simple... Okay. Simple leaves, basically, it's having a single leaf structure like this. But the compound leaf, you can see the papo, it's a compound leaf. It's having multiple leaflets. Right? Multiple leaflets. We call leaflets. Here, yeah, leaflets. Leaflets are the small, small leaves. It's not leaves, actually. A small portion of the leaf. So, the leaflets present in the compound leaves. So can you tell me a few, uh, like few leaves having leaflets, compound leaves? Can you give, give me a few examples? Where have you seen these compound leaves? Yes? Can you hear me? Uh, manioc trees. Manioc trees, yes. Manioc trees, they are a compound leaves. True. Breadfruit. Sorry? Breadfruit. Breadfruit. So what, uh, how the leaves looks like? Yes, how the leaf looks, looks like. Is it compound? So you are telling an example for compound or simple? Hello? Hello? You are telling for the compound. compound. Yeah, compound, it is correct. Yeah, compound red fruit is correct. It's also a compound leaf. Red fruit. Papo, red fruit, mania. Anything else? And you can see this one. Coconut. Tamarind. And Katuru Murunga. So these are also, and you can see Mimosa. So all these are, are having this uh, compound. So most of the, this is very common factor. Having a compound leaf is a common factor. And most of the leaves, you can see this compound leaf structure. As he said, the breadfruit is also, right? Breadfruit, they'll, okay, like here. Yes. Breadfruit leaf, here. Yeah. This one is a compound. Okay. Bamboo tree. Bamboo tree. So how the bamboo tree leaves are there? There are leaflets. Bamboo tree. Bamboo leaf. Here, it's having leaflets. What else? Yes. There are many. Right. Ladies' fingers. Ladies' fingers. Leaf. Yeah. It's a compound and as well as the venation is 
And now you have to remember two things. What is venation as well as the, whether the venation is parallel or reticulate and uh, the leaf shape is like, so what is, is it a compound or a leaf shape, a shape, sorry, is it a compound one or a simple one, right? Two factors now you have. So even this, uh, what you call strawberry, strawberry. So you can see the strawberry leaf. Right. It's also like this. Okay. Now you can see the compoundness as well as right compoundness or and also the simple leaves types. So that is not depending on the root type. So we saw that the previous venation was depending on the root type somewhat, but here it's not depending, regardless of the root here, this is having a fiber, this is having a fibrous, but still you can see it's having a compound. And this is having, uh, this is not a fibrous one, uh, like a tap root system, but having uh, a compound. Here. Right? So therefore, so based on the root system, the leaf shape and the leaflets and all these things are not dependent. So you have to carefully select, carefully identify whether these leaves are having leaflets or not, right? So, but you can see most of the leaves like here. So some are parallel, some are having this parallel compound, this parallel compound. So like uh, two leaflets, Two leaflets are connected. This image is not clear. Let me show this parallel compound leaflets. Right here, you can see the compoundness is sometimes it can be this one. Here, this is called pinnate compound and this is called palmate compound. But no need to uh, like remember that much. Hmm? Like pinnate one is like this, this is parallel. And palmate one is also, it's start, starting from one branch, the leaf divide like this. Here, this is pinnate. This is palmate. And this is bipinnate. Right, you can see this is tripod and there are like when you are going to discuss about the simple types and the compound type there are many examples actually here this one is taken as a uh, this one is taken as a compa uh, simple type in your book you can see this is this is taken as a uh, is it simple one Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, it's mistake, Elias. This is simple one, sorry. So there's a, so I also done that mistake, I'm sorry. Yes, so the, this is like when there are like, so please remember that this, that is very, uh, like it's an error. I also done, I also have done mistake, then only I understood that whether is it in the book or not. Please remember this very carefully, right? When, when there is a lobe structure, lobe structure means it when it is like branching from, when the venation is branching from the same and when it is not separated, still it is a simple structure, right? Still it is a simple structure, it is not a compound. But mm, here when palmate kind of thing means, here you can see there is a clear separation. This is compound, right? So please remember carefully. Please remember carefully, this is a simple one, right? Sorry, it's my mistake. It's my mistake, right? Papo is coming under the simple one. Papo is coming under the simple one and also the breadfruit. Breadfruit, uh, let's see the breadfruit, how it, it's there. Breadfruit one. Breadfruit leaf. Yeah, it is also a simple one, right? It's not branchy. So please remember, when it is not branching, it's categorized under the lob, lob, lob structure. That is basically simple. 
But when it is branching, when it is really branching, then only we consider that as a uh, compound fracture. That is my mistake. Sorry. Right. So there is a clear branching, clear separation. When there is no clear separation, we have to consider as a simple leaf structure. But there are two categories of the simple structure and entire leaves and the log leaf. So here the jack, uh, jack uh, so here what breadfruit and uh, papo, these all these are uh, basically simple leaves. Eh? But uh, compound, this palmate and all, this is basically, have you seen uh, Kerala leaf? Here, the Kerala leaf. And uh, especially, so, so what is the best example for this? Rubber, 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 rubber. I'm not sure about the rubber. Or is it a single one? Yeah, it's coming as a Ah, here, 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 you can see. But uh, it's coming from the singer. Right, it's kind of this. Okay, so please, please keep this in your head. This is how we identify the compound. And I think I should provide this image to you. So it's clear explanation, otherwise you will also confuse. Wait. I'm sending this image to you. Please download this image and keep it because this, this is very clear explanation. This is correct. Otherwise, you will also confuse when see this and this. Please try to distinguish. Distinguish, right? So when it is connected, it is simple. When it is not connected, it is compound. Right? Please remember that. Okay. With that, I will stop for today. But with that, I will stop for today. Next day, let's discuss the remaining part. Then, good night. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Sweet dreams. Have a nice.